Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to integrate Python with csop.net. So, add here the first step, right click on the project and here go to manage NetKit package. So, if you click add here, here you need to go add here browse and here type in search for Python. So, to add here imported package, you need to download and install. So, first is Python. So this one that I already installed. So add here I'm using Python 3.74. So add here 3.74 that I already installed. So if you like to know here, just search here you can find. So this is add here Python 3.7 that I already installed. Okay, now here. The next important package you need to download and install irony python okay so this is at your description about the irony python so open source implemented python programming data integrated so it is used generally for integrated python integration with dotnet framework so this two software you need to this two packages you need to download and install now here after the first add here I'm using namespace irony python and your hosting. Now here after inside main so first add here using console.write so it will display into the output screen. Now I have taken bad and variable by okay py add here python so it's a class by using add here create engine so it's a create a new script runtime and return the escape for irony python so this is use add here so this value that go to add here p1 where now here after i'm using try catch so if there any exception comes so that catch now here after p1 and here execute uh, for executing python file we need to use execute file method okay so right here this is used to execute content of a specified file and your new scope and return this. So we need to copy at your we need to copy and paste python file. So at here there is a one python file. So at here this is inside or tab folder. So if I go at here tab folder here you can find Z. Okay. So Z now if I open with uh, uh, let's uh, open with uh, notepad so here let's open so at here this is program is to add two number okay now here if I execute this code so at here this is the python file this python file I'm going to execute with the help of this So right here, this is so this is the simplest code. Now any kind of file you can execute. So right here, welcome to Python. It's not come there. So right here, this is first enter first number, enter second number. Now next is sum. So going to enter seven and here six. So right here, sum is playing thirty. Now here after let's search another file. So I'm going to go inside at this place here there I have two files so if you want to check here open with here not that so this is also add here to add two numbers now here let's check another okay this one also the same now here up to the next is let's copy this line let's copy this path now here after going to paste at this point now here after the final name is or oh, let's give y6 dot py py because at here executing python file now at here i'm getting the error message unrecognized escape sequence so at here we need to give double backwards rest after that it will find no any error now when they're done control s to save and here let's click on 
Python test. Right here, welcome to Python on accepted token K. So there is some problem in this file. So let's uh, check YSX. Not bad. Okay, added mistake. So if there is uh, any error, so add here, it will return the error. So add here this time exception K. So this is the message. It's a uh, handle by catch. Okay, now here after execute once again. So welcome to Python. Now here after it's uh, start executing the Python file. So add here 1.5 and 6.9. It's a uh, 8.4 it's a display. This is the simplest way we can add an indicate Python with this app. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.